This video blog post is about the ridiculous amount of plastics that we use in our everyday lives. I think it's very important to highlight that it takes about 500 to 1,000 years for any kind of plastic to break down, which means that over the past 10 years, we have created more plastic than we have in the last 100 years, which means that we have created so much plastic and it just keeps piling up and piling up and piling up. And where does it pile up? It piles up in landfills, it piles up in our oceans, and it uh, really, really harms all of the animals that we have on land as well as in the, in the sea. Uh, plastic pollution accounts for at least 100 million deaths of marine animals. And that's not even including the seabirds that um, are killed because of plastic pollution. If you think about like the little pieces of plastic as well as the, as the large pieces of plastic, it all looks like food. A plastic bag looks like a jellyfish to a turtle. A little piece of exfoliating scrub um, looks like plankton to a fish. And they're not intelligent enough to say, oh, this is plastic. I'm identifying this as something that I cannot eat. Everything in their habitat is food, so it should be conceived as food for them. So we should actually be feeding the animals things that actually can be ingested instead of plastic, which just suffocates them and kills them. We need our animals. We need our ecosystems. We need our coral reefs. All of these things are dying because of our lack of knowing and realizing that Every single time that we purchase a plastic water bottle, we are hurting the planet. Plastic takes a lot of water. It takes six times more water to create your plastic bottle than it does to actually fill it with the water that it actually holds. The plastic bottle is just a container for the water that you need. If you need water, why don't you get a water filter? Oh, wait because you don't have clean water. And why don't we have clean water? Because we have so many factories and so many naive and uncaring people in the, in the world and uncaring people and uncaring corporations that just don't care and put schloppity schlop and gluppity glup into our waters, which makes them undrinkable. So we cannot drink them. So we need to have water filters and we need to buy plastic water bottles. And sometimes the water in certain places are, is so bad that you can't even brush your teeth with the water from the sink. You have to use a plastic water bottle. It's mind boggling how we don't realize that this is our fault. We are doing this to ourselves. Plastic needs to be discontinued. No more plastic. We need to reuse, reuse, reuse as much as we can because we already have so much. Why do we need to keep on making when we already have so much? Why do we need to keep chopping trees down and rubber trees to make erasers when we already have enough? It, it just continues. So we need to realize and we need to just kind of take a step back and stop and understand that if we want to preserve our planet, if we want to preserve the beauty that we have all around us, it's not in an itemized form. It's not in a plastic bottle. It's not in a piece of furniture. It's in our trees. It's in our um, grass. It's in our birds, all of this, all the diversity and beauty and love that is on this planet needs to be preserved. It's And we cannot just blindly say that I don't have an effect on this planet. So in learning this and um, trying to understand um, how I can change my actions and how I can educate others in changing my their actions. Um, I have been doing uh, a few lessons, a bunch of lessons, a month long unit on helping the planet. And so in my English language class um, that I am teaching here at DT Club, um, I have my zero waste class. So we first um, collected plastic bottles and filled them up with different food waste so we can use them as little compost holders. Um, and then the 
uh, plastic bottles just kept piling up. We are, the teachers kept on giving us more uh, plastic bottles that they, you know, they drank from. So um, we decided, all right, well, we have so much plastic. So, so, so much plastic is wasted um, just in everyday life in China as well as everywhere else. Um that we decided that we're going to make some statues. So I um, showed them a PowerPoint presentation about uh, the different um, statistics of, you know, plastic waste and what it uh, does to harm our planet. And then um, the last slide was uh, a bunch of different, you know, visuals and statues of different artists and as well as schools did in order to promote um, plastic reduction in everybody's lives. And so we, um, we, collected all of our plastics and I had the kids, you know, do a few lessons and some writing um, prompts about, you know, what they, what statue they would want to, to create. And so we decided that we were going to create a giant garbage can out of a plastic bottle, out of plastic bottles, as well as a giant earth transformer uh, or hiju uh, transformer. And we are going to uh, present that and uh, do a whole bunch of different posters to help um, spread awareness about um you need to just bring a reusable bottle to school. You need to just bring a reusable bag with you wherever you go. It's not that hard to reduce your plastic waste. You just have to do it. And so I hope this inspires you and it inspires so many other kids. And I hope that you use these lessons to help promote plastic reduction in your life as well as, you know, the lives that you touch. Thank you.